What's up, guys? What is up? Welcome to some more Fallout 4. We gotta go talk to Dr. Amari here, and I think I'm going the wrong way already. We swapped out Nick Valentine for Piper to continue on with the reunion quest, I believe it's called, the reunion's quest. Well, it was, now, it's, now we're on the dangerous mines. To the fens. Let me know in the comment section below how the mic quality is. Um, and this video is going to be like way out there. There's so much content that I've recorded and stockpiled up that by the time you guys hear this, it will literally be like three weeks down the road, two, three weeks down the road, something like that. So as soon as I start getting the comments pouring in about the uh, mic quality, I'll try to remember where it was set. Uh, so we did purchase that that blue yeti, yo. We're even in the right. What are we doing here? What the fuck are we doing? Talk to a person, activate them while standing up to attempt a pickpocket. Activate them while in sneak mode. Oh. Sneaky still like gets you into a lot of trouble unintentionally too. Jerking off, huh? Alright. That's another thing too, we gotta go talk to Paladin and dance if we wanna continue on the brotherhood side of things. The Institute so far it seems to be like the evil route to go, but we really don't know the entire backstory. I thought you had forgotten me about the lonely. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs. Alright, so I guess we follow Nick. We could have chose to either have taken Piper or Nick. We chose Piper. Uh, if we chose Nick, we would have just followed him. I'm kind of interested to see what's on the computer, but we can't command him to do a damn thing. Dr. Amari? Yes? I take it this isn't a social call. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Uh... Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? So we can see it, huh? Circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. <laughs> From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Dude, is my coffee cup leaking? I think my coffee cup's leaking. Go on, Go sorry. On. <clears throat> Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, a brain implant could fit him, but that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. What does it do for him? Like, 
that's what I don't get. Like, if I start cackling like an old we requested to go find this guy. Res well, we did rescue him, I suppose, but he's like risking his life for us. But why? We're not paying him or anything like that. He's just uh, helping us out, which is weird. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we used to? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. What the fuck? All right. All right. Let's get started. Why not use two cents? <laughs> and keep your fingers crossed. <clears throat> Uh, all right, this is a lot. This is reminding me of Fallout 3 and the, uh, the whole simulation thing. Piper's just sitting down. Now she's standing up, blah, blah, blah. What are you doing over there? Could have thrown her in here. Oh, dick. Oh, dick. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Oh, shit. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. What? Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Am I supposed to be doing something here? Uh oh. I see. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from dad. That cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. People always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. P 
people like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my food? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless, but you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. We'll let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. No, it doesn't. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah, you've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need, then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. As I shoot myself in the I leg. <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. This is quite interesting. Like, I, I really... This reminds me of, like, Assassin's Creed mixed with, uh... I, like, I don't know. I, like, Spider-Man intro. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. A voice inside my head? I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Okay. Wonder who got killed if it was his if it was Sarah and his baby or his mom and dad. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, um I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. 
So this guy lost his family, became some sort of mercenary contract worker because he's depressed and the money was there and it's easy work and blah blah blah. He wants revenge. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Systems offline. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. Yeah, we were, Why like, partly... Tell us something? We were partly, like, Why synthetic. Or, or Kellogg was. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. All computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all just find it. On C6. Down the hall near the end. Oh fuck. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh I never like to. And yeah. I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but, uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller, even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. He wants me to finish him off. <sighs> <clears throat> This is the one. Here. Open it. <coughs> is it over? <coughs> Are we okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no, here, wait. baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. That was kind of messed up. This one here should uh, give us some sort of clue or indication as what we need to do now. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But 
was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'll be back to normal business before too long. This is intense. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So... I guess you're taking the kid back with you. <clears throat> Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Oh, shit. He just teleported. <clears throat> It's about six eighty eight. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. I am ready. I am so ready. <clears throat> it's quite intense. And uh, be sure to get a third party match copyright thing on YouTube for that damn music. Where the fuck is the music coming from? I gotta shut it off. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. I got a feeling we're going there. Virgil, <laughs> if you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea. We got a hazmat suit. I'll find a way to get through the rats. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. Only problem is. I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. 
Oh, I was going to say the hazmat suit, the only downside to it is uh, there's no damage resistance whatsoever. There we go. Piper, I'm really not in the mood for your sarcastic remarks. The fuck was that yellow writing? Maybe I'm losing my mind. He's waiting for me upstairs. Mr. Valentine, find Virgil in the glowing sea. No, I need to talk to uh, Nick, please. He's not in here. Ooh. I don't know whose place this is. Oh, shut up. I don't give a fuck if they didn't like that. Are you kidding me? Did you not see those 50 cal bullets? Irma. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? Oh, no. You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Oh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. I had a feeling we're not to fight Nick. Fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City if you've got company already. Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. Piper is going to Sanctuary. Piper. Head my way. However, this is what I've got. See if she has any junk. I don't think so. Okay. Goodbye. Bye bye. Nice to have someone watching my back. All right, let's continue on this thing, shall we? Let's leave here. Take a look at our world map. See how far. The glowing sea is away from our current location. Check our inventory capacity as well. What are we at right now for that? 214 out of 300, whatever. Let's see. Glowing sea. You better go to sanctuary real quick. Just to store any junk that we may have collected. Not a big deal. Every issue of Life and Love adds bonuses to your companions. There we are. That's all I wanted to do. Scrap Palace. Every issue of Astoundingly Awesome Tales you collect adds a version of Astoundingly Awesome Perk, which grants you a unique bonus like more damage inflicted at night or improved radiation resistance. I'm sure we missed quite a few of them. Super Mutants. Super mutants. There has to be some around. This is cleared, but who knows? We were so close to it before when we cleared this place out. We had no idea. And we're stuck. 98 meters away. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. How, how much radiation is there? Is there a lot? Dude, do we do we have what we need? God damn it. We discovered this location, so that's good. Let's we gotta go back. Sorry. Damn it. We gotta go back here. We gotta pick up our hazmat suit. And uh you guys won't have to sit through that. I'll start recording in um the glowing scene in the next episode. Be sure to hit the like button below, subscribe if you have not, share the video around, get my channel out there, get the series out there so people can enjoy it with us. And uh, I'll catch you guys then. Take care.